Deepest search of validity, validate enemies, fabricate tendencies, allocate penalties, acclimate differently, kill my identity, fuck at my enemy, tentatively nose dive in dependency, popping no anything, fucking no anything, blame my heredity, excuses for everything, claiming I didn't see, hope you ain't noticed me when I... Okay, you guys, so there's no official intro today, sorry, I realized once I started editing that it was all out of focus, but you guys know my intro, so sorry. So, my water bottles have all fell, it looks so unorganized in here, y'all, let me fix this because this is just unpresentable. We need three bell peppers, and I actually have three. I used two for a different recipe and I was like, let me make sure I keep three because I remembered that this said three. Um, it doesn't matter what color they are, so that's what we got. We also need to get one pound of ground turkey, which I already have it here thawed. And then also we need to get salsa. Did I buy salsa? You know what? I didn't buy salsa because I was like, ooh, I'm gonna just make my own salsa because I got a tomato. I got a tomato. Okay, now we also need cheddar cheese, which I got right here. For the seasonings, it says that we need chili powder. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just say everything that we need. It says I need chili powder, cumin, black pepper, salt, and that's it. Here's my salt. Mm, I'm gonna use my peppercorn instead of my regular black pepper. Just cause I like the flavor of like peppercorns better and I feel like that'll taste better with these. Cumin, cumin and also chili powder in this one. Okay, so that's all the ingredients you need. It's really not that much, but guess what? Some of y'all that are watching this who are like, ooh, I bet I can make this, I guarantee there's something you're missing. We need to start cooking this food because now it is 1225. We've gotta get a move on. So what I'm going to do is get my pan to cook my turkey. I'm also gonna get my cutting board so I can cut all the vegetables on that and also, it says preheat the oven to 375, so I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven, and I'm going to move the camera somewhere else. You guys are going to be watching me right here, but I'm also going to have a camera on my vegetables and everything, cutting, and I'll just be talking to you guys while I'm getting that together. So, I'm setting up this camera here. Hi on this camera. Okay, I'm going to set this up. Oh, you know what I just realized? The recipe's on my phone, but I got my laptop, so. No need to fear, the age of electronics is here. The lighting looks so good right here. So I already know that I'm gonna have to cut up these peppers. Obviously, we are gonna want to um, Rinse off the peppers. All of the peppers have been washed now, and it does say that we need to core them and deseed them. So that's what I'm going to do next. Let me go ahead and read ahead actually. Remove seeds, core, and membrane from bell peppers, then slice each one into six vertical pieces. I don't feel like this one is going to slice into six pieces. This one, this one is like one, two, three, four. This one will probably do six. I don't know if this one will do six. What y'all think? I'm going to go ahead and turn on my stove top so this pan will get hot. And this is the ground turkey I'm using. And while that's while I'm waiting for that to heat up, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these peppers so we can just be a little bit ahead of the game. This green one's so pretty. Yes, my oven makes a cute little noise when it's 
preheated. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this turkey on the pan because it feels hot enough. So I'm just gonna break up this turkey. It looks so soft, like it kinda looks weird. I've never cooked ground turkey actually. So I'm just gonna season all of this with all of these, however I see fit. And you know what? I'm actually gonna add garlic into this because I always add garlic into everything. It's only right. And I love cumin, so I'm gonna make sure I add a bunch of cumin in this. Pepper. So, okay, garlic is not a part of the recipe, but like I said, I love garlic, so I'm gonna add garlic in. If you love garlic, you should add garlic too. There's like a lot of fat that came out of this actually. Or maybe it's water, I don't know. I wasn't expecting this much for a turkey. I figured turkey would be more like of a lean type meat. Actually, I'm gonna drain some of this a little bit because this is really bothering me. <laughs> so now I'm about to cut these peppers into their different slices. I still have a few seeds in these, but it's okay. So it said cut it into six pieces, but um, like I said, I don't think this is gonna cut into six. So I'm just gonna cut along where like the ridges are and do it that way. Like this one, like I feel like this would be its own section and then this would be its own section. You see what I mean? I feel like this is a lot of meat. I don't know if this is gonna fit in all these, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep these little like ridges on here just to help the meat like stay in the inside. Ooh, I'm gonna add sour cream. Okay, so this was also not part of the recipe, but honestly, how can you do nacho-esque food and not do sour cream? So I'm gonna definitely add sour cream. <laughs> like they want me to add cumin, cheese, and not add sour cream? That should be against the law. So next it says preheat the oven to 375, I already did that. Combine the cooked turkey, spices, and salsa. Oh, I'm supposed to mix salsa in with this. Since I didn't buy so I could have swore I thought I, I did buy salsa. I know that I bought salsa. Because I remember I picked I picked up the cheap version. Cause I was like, I knew I wasn't tripping. Cause I picked up Kroger brand salsa. I said add the salsa into this. And the salsa I have is the thick and chunky mild salsa like myself, thick and chunky. So now that we got that off of it, I'm gonna season it a little bit more. Cause I'm just feeling like you can never have, okay, you can have too much seasoning, but um, you know, you just can never have too much seasoning. Okay, that looks pretty ground up to me. I'm just gonna speed this part up. Um, as you can see, I just sprayed the pan with a little bit of olive oil just so that way the peppers won't stick. And then I'm just gonna stuff the peppers with the meat mixture and that's pretty much the rest of what you do. Um, so I'll just let you guys kind of see this process before I come back on. This one's, this is such a like quick um, recipe. It's super like easy, fast to do. It doesn't require that many ingredients. So if you ever want like a late night snack like this, this would actually be a good little like food for, I don't know, there's like a football game and you have people over or something like that. Cause I'm about to add the cheese on top. 
And then we're gonna stick these bad boys in the oven. Actually, let me see if I can get a picture of this without. Look at it, ooh. Look how beautiful. Now I'm gonna add the cheese. Disregard this ugly pan, that's what the turkey was in. This honestly would be better with the Mexican cheese. Um, the recipe said cheddar cheese and that's all I had anyway, but honestly I think this would be better with Mexican, Mexican blend. All right, so this is the bell pepper boats. Um, now it says that I have to put these in the oven for 10 minutes, so that's what I'm about to do. Actually, let me just add pepper on top. While those cook, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the little bit of a mess that I made from this, which is not that bad, but I'm going to go ahead and clean this up while this, this is cooking, and then I'll come back when they're ready to get taken out. Alright, as you can tell, the oven is going off. That means our bell pepper boats are done, so let me get my oven mitt and this pot holder oh wait actually y'all probably want to get a little live action shot i know i get it Ooh. okay okay they all melty and whatnot mm. and the peppers smell so good Woo. okay <laughs> Let me stop playing. Okay. What we're gonna do, I got a lime here because this is a Mexican inspired dish, y'all. You cannot eat this without putting some lime on top. So that's what I'm about to do. We're rolling the lime, making sure it's soft enough. It feels pretty soft. And we're gonna put this lime over the top of this because why not? Masterpiece, the ensemble, the the I don't know, but just look how amazing this is. I know, I know. So what I'm about to do is put on. Um, I was watching this YouTube video. I watched this girl named Stephanie So. So she had uploaded a new video today. So I'm about to pull that up on my Fire Stick. Sit over here on my couch. So I can eat my food. Yes, my plants that you guys saw in the other video are still here on the table. Y'all, I had to come back and let y'all know how amazing this is. This is so good. Like, it's so much flavor. Honestly, adding the sour cream and the cilantro was a great touch. The juiciness of the pepper, the mixture in the inside, y'all have to try this recipe. Out of any recipe that I've done on my channel, y'all have to try this one, it's so good. All right, I'm gonna go, but I just had to let y'all know how bomb this was. Thank y'all for watching. If there's anything specific you want me to try, like I said, just comment that below and I'll hopefully get to it. And I hope that you all enjoyed this video and definitely stay tuned for my next 
video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, I gotta keep going.